Sometimes things are better left unseen and these cursed paintings are one of them. As today we are taking a look at the top 5 cursed paintings you should never purchase part 2. Coming in at number 5 we have Portrait of Samantha Houston. On the surface this painting seems like a sweet portrait of a little girl, though this painting has a dark story behind it. This deceptive painting by Richard King hangs in Austin, Texas's Driscoll Hotel and carries a haunting legend with it. The girl in the photo is named Samantha Houston and was the daughter of a senator in Texas. Samantha's father brought her with him when he stayed at the Driscoll Hotel in 1887. This would be where Samantha fell down a flight of stairs while chasing after a ball and would fall to her death. After the tragic accident, Samantha's father hired the artist Richard Kind to paint a grand portrait of Samantha to commemorate her death. For unknown reason, Samantha's father never went to pick up the painting. Thus, after it was finished, the Driscoll Hotel purchased the painting for $10 and displayed it at the head of the grand staircase. The painting by Richard King would be hung in the hotel where she died and is known to have focused on the spirit's alleged activities. Since the accident, it is reported that her ghost haunts the Driscoll Hotel. It has been reported that a bouncing ball can often be seen in the hotel lobby. Additionally, there have been guest complaints that door handles beside the painting painting rattle, with guests also saying that Samantha's expression in the painting seems to distort as they look at it. In the painting, Samantha holds flowers and looks innocent, but it has been said by present day hotel staff and guests that if you stare at the painting long enough, her expression changes. Sometimes her mouth appears to widen into a full smile, and other times her face would contour. Not only that, but there have also been guest reports of feeling nauseous or a falling feeling around the painting, as if they too are tumbling down a set of stairs. In 19 in 1906, Samantha's mother donated separate portraits of herself and her husband to be hung together side by side with their daughter, though the parents painting kept falling off the wall for no apparent reason, having it be nailed to the wall. The parents painting would be vandalised and slashed, leaving the hotel to have both paintings copied and hung without labels, with the fear that they would get vandalised again. Today no one knows where the original paintings are. In at number 4 we have the dead mother. Most famous for his painting titled The Scream, Edvard Munch is not new to dark and scary paintings. The 1800s painter is a fairly dark individual and was driven to insanity for his terrible upbringing. The Dead Mother is one of his most haunting art pieces. The painting is to honour Munch's mother who died of tuberculosis when Munch was a young boy. The painting reflects some of the angst, despair and insanity that Edvard went through growing up. These elements are used to form what can only be described as a truly disturbing painting to look at. The painting depicts a young girl with her back turned to a bed on which her dead mother lies as she holds her hands to her ears with a wide eyed expression of disbelief. The emotions of frozen time, disbelief and trauma a child may have following a parent's death are expressed in this painting. And these emotions never left him as he experienced them firsthand. Some would say that contrary to the girl's distraught pose, the faraway look in the eyes show that she has already broken free from reality. It is as if she is trying to block out the stillness of the room, or the news that her mother is gone forever. The little girl's eyes have been reported to follow viewers as they move around her and some people can even hear the sheets from the dead mother's bed rustling as they stand near the painting. The piece of art is now maintained at the Kunsthal in Bremen, but the trauma and despair make the painting still haunting to look at today. In at number 3 we have Man Proposes, God Disposes. The 1800 paintings by Sir Edwin Landseer could be one of the most mysterious and haunting one there is. The painting shows two polar bears savagely attacking human remains. Remains. The painting was to depict the mysterious and terrifying tales of Sir John Franklin's failed expedition to find the Northwest Passage. Finding the passage was very important in the eyes of British merchants and sailors in the 19th century because it would link the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and cut the length of the trip and inevitably strengthen British imperial power. Franklin was a very experienced explorer and set off on his expedition with 129 men and two navy ships, but after three years there were no word from him. There were countless searches and missions to try and find the missing crew and ships. During one mission in 1854, they spoke to the local Inuit community, who met with some of the remaining crew after they had to abandon their ship. 
And after 10 years, the only thing they could find were objects from the expedition, including Franklin's telescope seen in the painting. Most gruesome, however, was their discovery of bones belonging to members of the crew. This mysterious disappearance of the crew and their failed expedition is not only the haunting part about the painting, though. As the picture is displayed at Royal Holloway University of London, where it has to be covered with a Union flag during exam season. This is due to the fact that in the 1970s there was a rumor of a student taking their own life after staring at the painting for too long. The student allegedly left a note behind saying the polar bears made me do it, while other students reported feeling uneasy and upset while sitting next to it. In at number two, we have Pogo the Clown. During the early 1970s, John Wayne Gacy was considered a loving husband and a successful restaurant manager. He was seen as an active and important community member as he would dress up as a clown at events to raise money for local charities. His clown alter ego was called Pogo the Clown, where many sick kids in local hospitals would receive visits from Pogo. John was seen as a normal and kind man until the truth about his alter ego came to the surface. Under the floorboards of his house, there were discovered remains of people he took the life of. After John was exposed for his criminal behavior, he was convicted and imprisoned on death row. In prison, John began to oil paint. When people would view his painting, they would feel a mix of repulsion and intrigue. One piece in particular is known to fully represent John's murderous instinct, called Pogo the Clown. In 2001, the painting would be purchased by singer Nikki Stone for $3,000. Shortly after purchasing the painting, Nikki noticed a string of accidents and tragedies following him, this being his dog suddenly passing away and then his mother falling sick. Alarmed with the sudden bad news, he arranged to have the painting stored at a friend's house instead. While it was in the hands of the friend, a close neighbor passed in a car accident. The painting would be later handed over to another friend until the eeriness of the painting would haunt the man until he went mad. Stone, the original owner of the painting, had no choice but to sell it for all of the negative energy that it brought to each person that it was handed over to. Finally, coming in at number one, we have Untitled by Zdzislaw Beksinski. One of the most visually frightening paintings on this list, we have the Zdzislaw Beskinski, untitled painting that looks like a scene straight out of a nightmare. Not only does it look terrifying, but the legend surrounding the painting is also not for the faint hearted. Many people believe that the painting is cursed. The Polish painter did not title any of his paintings because he wanted to avoid any metaphorical interpretation of his paintings. He also reportedly burned a selection of his artworks in his backyard before anyone could ever see them. As an artist, Beskinski was fascinated with death, decay, and darkness. But those weren't his only fascinations. Therefore, his work had dark, decaying, and gruesome images. But Skinsky's life was filled with tragedy after his wife suddenly passed, and just a year later, his son would follow. Six years after these horrible accidents, the artist himself was found unalive in his apartment. Understandably, his tragic last year have since often been linked with the grimness of his art because of all of the death and bad luck that followed the artist's painting. It's believed that anyone that looked at the painting for too long would soon be met with the same fate as Baskinski's family. Well, there we have it. Thanks for tuning into this video. I will see you in the next one.